the important mess had to be relocated at the cliff bottom, enabling the men to have their food and drink on site. Keeping the sea out of the excavations was a full-time job. The piling gate was dismantled for the final time. Concrete and timbers were moved down the beach to tidy the northern end. Um, the old timber groins at Swanage have been built in two phases. We've got the ones which you see behind me, which run from the outfall jetty up to Ocean Bay, which were built in the 1930s. And then from that point northward to Shep's Hollow, you've got another set of groins which were built in the 1960s. We've recently started demolishing, or should I say deconstructing, the old groins. And um, as you can see, they're rather dilapidated and hence not really uh, performing in the way that you'd want them to. As we've dismantled them, we've uh, also found that the planking perhaps hasn't gone down to the same level which our new groins do, down to the clay level. So under extreme events, when the, uh, the beach draws down, they perhaps wouldn't stop material moving along the beach because the planking isn't sufficiently deep, the material would subsequently wash along the beach. demolitions of the old groins commenced and were found to be in remarkably good condition below the clay level.
Many of the old groins and timbers were snapped up by local people and used for various projects. The rest were loaded onto lorries and taken away. Having been sawn at the appropriate height, the groins were finished with a metal ring to strengthen the top, making them look neat along the beach. The last job was to fix the whaling to the sides of the groin to straighten and give the timbers extra support. On the 27th of May 2006, a ceremony was held at Ocean Bay to commemorate the completion of the Swanage Beach Coastal Protection Works. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here with you this morning and with Jim Knight, the MP for South Dorset, to celebrate the completion of the Swanage Beach Recharge Scheme. It took seven months to complete the work between October 2005 and May 2006, and this will be enjoyed by the visitors that come to Swanage throughout the summer. The local residents can also enjoy a stroll along the beach and be reassured of coastal protection from the golden sands of Swanage.